こんにちは、e、フープスですドリブルというスキルはシュートなどに比べると優先度が低いスキルですなぜなら直接的に得点に結びつきにくいスキルだからですそのためいわゆる練習のための練習になりがちで試合で活かしにくい練習をしている場合が珍しくありません試合で使えるようになる効果的なメニューに取り組むことが重要ですドリュー・ハンレンが紹介解説しているので見てみましょうバスケボール There's only five types of dribbles. You've got a pound dribble, you've got a crossover, you've got a between the leg, you've got a behind the back, those are the main ones, and then you've got an inside out. Now, you can try to argue with me and say, well, what about this reverse? Oh, what about this right here when they do this? Oh, that's between the legs. Oh, that's behind the back. There's not anything else you can do with the basketball between, besides crossover in front of your body, crossover between your legs, crossover behind your body, dribble the ball or manipulate the ball in a manner. Okay? There's only five dribbles. So. 五種類と聞いて少なく感じ、少し驚いた方もいらっしゃるかもしれません。けれどよく考えてみると、少し特殊に見えるドリブルもこの五種類の中から派生した応用技であることがわかります。代表的なのがプッシュクロスやシャムゴットなどです。つまりドリブルの基礎を練習しようとした場合この5種類を練習すれば良いということになりますただ試合で活かせるようになるにはドリブルだけではなくシュートなどの他の動きを組み合わせた複合的なメニューにする必要があります実際の試合ではドリブルをした後何もせずに終わるということはほぼありませんなぜならドリブルをする理由はそこにボールを持ったままいても展開が生まれないからであり動いてパスコースを探したりシュートをするためがほとんどだからです言い換えればドリブルの後にスムーズにシュートができたりパスができるようになることまで含めた上で初めて試合で使えるドリブルスキルと言えるということです特にスムーズにシュートに行けて高確率で決められるようになることが最も重要です少々前置きが長くなってしまって恐縮ですが後半は5種類のドリブルとシュートを組み合わせたドリルの紹介という本題になりますのでぜひご覧ください。I would start with those five dribbles and I would say the first thing we would do is we'd have right foot forward, left foot back and I would just go ball and foot hit the same time and I just want you to pick the ball up and here's what I like to tell people shoot a free throw real quick, do your routine, just do your actual routine. Stop. That's where he feels most comfortable picking up the ball, right there. They'll tell you. Look at where his feet are. That's how wide I want your feet. <laughs> Just put them at the free throw line. Because they should make 80, 90% of their free throws. They're telling you he wants his feet angled right here. So he's not a 12 o'clock, you know, he's right, not a 10 toes of rim shooter. He's like a, you know, if you look at this right here, it's like a 11 and 11.30 on the clock. Okay, so that's where I want your feet at. So now get back in your stance. Quick. Nice, good. Exact same thing. Nice. It's perfect. Now, off that same dribble, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do a sidestep. So you're going to go like this. You're going to do a ball and foot, and then I want you to sidestep one, two, as fast as you can. Don't worry about、uh, getting lateral distance as fast as you can. Sidestep. Good. Now do it without the fadeaway. Nice job. Now, you can add a ton of variety of stuff. Now, the next one we're going to do is we're going to do it inside out. Okay, you can do it inside out with a push out, which means same foot, or you can do it opposite, where you go opposite right there. What I want you to do is, I want you to have where basically you're going to be here, and I want this left foot to stay grounded, and you're going to go dribble, you're going to go push out, so ball and foot hit, and I want you to take one more step. So the, the one in the one two is the right in, in the kind of push out. Does that make sense? Here we go. Nice, that's perfect. That's perfect. Really good. Nice, really good. 
And what, what people don't realize is he's really just working on his footwork too. We've went left, right, now we've went side step, and then we've went right, left, keep going. Nice. Now, we're gonna do crossovers, so you're gonna take a dribble right here, and then all I want you to do is take a right step, I want you to cross the ball over, keep in that, and then it's gonna be right, left. So your left foot doesn't move until the two on the one, two. Yep, just like that, that's perfect. And now when the ball's hanging, you're gonna still stuff it in that exact same spot. Most people wanna reach, stuff it in the same spot. Here we go. That's perfect, that's a great pickup. Perfect, good, as fast as you can right here. And what you'll see a lot of times, he's doing a really good job. You'll see people go like this and tank, come out of their stance too quick, and then the ball is out instead of keeping it tight where you're in that good posture with your shoulders over your knees so you can shoot on balance. Really good. And then now go behind the back. You're going to take one dribble with your right hand. You're going to go behind the back, and then you're going to hop. OK? Stationary. So yeah, you'll be like this. You'll go dribble behind the back, hop, quick. Perfect. Good. Do it again. Good, and stop. With all those, you notice we just went right, left. We went left, right. We went cross step. We went right foot forward. Then we went left foot forward, and then we went hop. He just got every single type of shot that he can possibly shoot. The only thing we didn't do is we would add some pullbacks where we'd go like this and come back or this and then hop if he was that kind of player. But you notice how we can do drills that they don't even realize they're working on a bunch of different things. He's working on ball handling. He's working on good pickup. He's working on good posture. He's working on shooting and he's working on footwork all in one little drill. Okay. 補足説明としてその場でとどまりながらドリブルを突く練習もちろん強く突くなり自分の限界の速さで突くなど挑戦的なことをしていたのだとしてもそういった練習はあまり意味がないのかと思った方もいらっしゃるかもしれませんそれはあくまでも半分正解半分不正解と表現するのが適切かと思いますシュートなどを交えた複合的なメニューを行う場合つまずくポイントは人それぞれです足がうまく揃わないピックアップがうまくいかないなど様々ですそのうちドリブルが孫ついてしまいボールが自分の足に当たってしまううまく手に戻ってこないなどの場合つまりドリブルそのものがまだまだ複合的なメニューを行うレベルに達していない場合はその場でとどまりながらドリブルを突く練習を行うのはとても効果的ですまた複合的なメニューをするスピードをどんどん速くしていく自分の限界に挑戦していった時にドリブルの部分でうまくできないという場合も効果的ですつまりその場でとどまりながらドリブルを突く練習は弱点を集中的に直したり基礎の基礎を身につけることを目的とした練習でありそれをそのまま試合で生かすことを目的とした練習ではないということですその場でのドリブルはスムーズにできるまたはある程度スムーズにできている感覚があるのに試合になるとその場でのドリブルほどスムーズにできない感じがするならその人はその場でのドリブル練習に時間を割くのではなく複合的なメニューに時間を割かなければならないレベルに達したということです練習には必ず目的がありますその目的が今の自分に適切なのか必ず把握した上で練習することを忘れないようにしましょうご視聴誠にありがとうございましたそれでは次の動画でお会いしましょう。